Like what I do here? Become a patron at patreon.com slash Karen Terry. Characters that dive into danger for their loved ones? Mm, so good. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry and today we're going to talk about my favorite romance tropes. We're going to round off February with a tropes video, and today we're going to talk about my favorite romance tropes that you can use in your role plays. And don't forget to let me know down below what your favorite romance tropes are. There are tons of different flavors of this across various kinds of media, but the one that I really like is where it starts off as a fake relationship, and then somewhere along the line it becomes real. I like it especially when both parties enter into this knowing it's fake and mutually agree they're going to do this for some plot reason. Maybe one character needs a date for something, maybe they're undercover and pretending to be married, or maybe it's some kind of legal motive like citizenship or insurance or escaping their current familial situation. Trying to help each other out, however, ends up turning into actual love. Aww. If you have one person deceiving the other, this can also be really fun. Maybe one person is trying to trick the other out of their money, or if you want to be really dramatic, out of their life. But then, oh no, they catch feelings and can't go through with the plot. This is another one that has tons of different iterations. Maybe it's a boss and an employee, maybe it's two characters that are part of rival clans or families, or maybe it's something taboo like adultery or kissing cousins. No matter what it is, Society does not want these two characters together, but I do. This trope also often applies to May-December romances, almost anything involving a teacher, well, except another teacher, or if we're talking about supernatural something interspecies. Basically, anything where the plot is forced to reconcile with the unequalness of the pairing, I'm here for it. Two characters are obviously pining for each other, but either the plot or the characters themselves are keeping the two characters apart. Often this is shortened to UST, and you know if it's a fandom acronym, it's popular. Sometimes this happens because the couple keeps getting interrupted by the plot. Sometimes it's because they keep fighting, or sometimes it's because they have a will they won't they going on. This is usually the more interesting ship of the given show, book, or whatever, because as opposed to the official couple, there's intrigue and interest here. You don't know if they're ever going to actually get together, although oftentimes they do. A rake in a romance is a lovable scoundrel. Sometimes they're more on the nice side, and sometimes they are straight up bad dudes but either way, we love a reformed rake. This is a rake that starts out as a bad boy, but by the end of the story, they're firmly on the good guy's side doing the right thing. This is usually a critical step in them ending up with the object of their affection, as she's not interested in someone who doesn't care or worse, is doing actual evil. And we love a character with a clear arc, so reformed rakes are great. Sometimes, however, the rake doesn't get reformed. Sometimes they're straight up enemies. But that doesn't stop us from wanting a romance. The characters keep having to fight each other clearly because this is how they address their unresolved sexual tension. Maybe it's a rival thing and they get jealous when other people fight them. Is that really so different than a dramatic love? No. We know it just means that eventually instead of fighting they're gonna kiss. Even better, if this tension gets resolved and actually happens over the course of the narrative. And usually this is because the bad guy becomes one of the good guys in the story, but it's great when it's the other way around and the more hero character falls to the evil side. One character has to save the other from certain doom. How romantic. Usually this is a heterotrope where the woman is in distress and her man comes to save her, but it's great when it's the other way around, or even better, when it's used for a queer couple. Honestly though, it doesn't matter much for me, I just love seeing one of the characters have to go rescue the other and watch the pure relief on their faces when they know they're safe. Characters that dive into danger for their loved ones? Mmm, so good. This is an arranged marriage trope, usually between royal or land-owning families, where the marriage is going to solve some sort of conflict. 
two nations are warring against each other and you know what'll stop it? If one nation's daughter marries the other nation's son. Perfect, they won't want to attack their own flesh and blood, surely. This trope is best if the two involved don't really want to go through with the plan and they're forced to get married. This of course actually happens and happened a lot in real life, but in fiction we can make it even juicier. Maybe the characters eventually grow to respect and love each other, or maybe they don't and they form some other kind of partnership. So those are seven of my favorite romance tropes that you can use for your shipping. Let me know down below what your favorite romance tropes are. Are they similar to mine? Do you have some different ones? I'm really curious. So let me know all of that. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.